Hi, today we're going to do indoor grilling and we're going to be doing it with cast iron. What's great about cast iron for grilling indoors is you heat the cast iron up till it's really hot and whatever you place on it will cook from the bottom and the top at the same time. You won't have to flip whatever is being grilled. So what we have is we have the cast iron, very hot, right here, just a little cast iron griddle. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put a little bit, just maybe just maybe a teaspoon of oil right on there. And then we're just going to let that spread around. And this is very hot, so you need to have a hot pad and you can see that that's just beginning to smoke. What I've done is I have pre-prepared a bit of swordfish just so you would see getting it started and as the swordfish is cooking I'll show you how I prepared it. So here we go and that's sizzling right away like that Slide that right in, and that will cook in about five minutes. So while it's cooking, let's prepare another piece of swordfish. So here's the swordfish. When you uh, grill fish, you want to make sure that it's never been frozen. Frozen fish loses its texture. The freezing actually destroys the cell structure and um, it, it gets mealy rather than tender. So I've got a little bit of garlic and a little bit of ginger. And I'm just going to smash that and the ginger will smash that as well. And then we'll slice that up just like that. And we'll slide that right in here. So the rest of the marinade will be equal parts maple syrup, this is homemade maple syrup, soy sauce, and ketchup. So I'm going to put in probably about a teaspoon of each right into the bag. along with the ginger and the garlic. And then we'll just marinate that for a little bit. And when you marinate in the plastic bag, you can accelerate the marinating process. Another thing to remember about marinating meats and cooking and grilling meats actually is that they actually cook and grill best at around room temperature so you'll want to take your fish or your steak or chicken whatever it is you're going to want to take it out of the refrigerator for a few minutes to let it warm up a little bit you don't want to put it on the grill when it's cold so there we go and this will be ready for our next round of grilling So let's take a look at what we have over here. And that has grilled up quite nicely. You can see it's, uh, it's smoking. It's quite hot. It's very, very tender. In fact, why don't we, I'm going to let that sit for just a minute, and I will put in our other piece of fish. The oil is already in there. And that's going away. 
There. So there you have it. Indoor grilling with cast iron. We'll see you next time.